are those the ones that are always crashing? Yes. Those are the ones that crashed. Okay. Good times. Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekers YouTube channel. Today we're here in Orlando at the Orlando International Airport and today we are riding Lynx Air. It is a fairly new airline here in Orlando and we are going to ride it from here to Toronto, Canada and give you a full review of what to expect when you ride Lynx Air. So if you have a ticket booked with Lynx Air, then stick around, you're in the right place. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's go. Let's go. All right guys, this is sudden we are here. We are at M2 Airport. Uh, we are running Lynx Air for the very first time. Apparently this is a low cost carrier uh, with direct uh, flights from Toronto to Orlando. Um, so we're going to have a little weekend getaway in good old Canada. So, um, first things first. Since it's a newer, like, carrier here in Orlando, some of the signs aren't totally up to date. So we ended up parking somewhere, uh, we ended up parking in A, we should have been at Terminal C. So, so make sure you pay attention and you know that you can actually park in the South Economy parking lot, correct? Not yet. Park at the South Economy lot, not the North Economy okay, lot. Okay, yeah. So park at the South Economy lot, not the North lot. Uh, and Lynx Air is out of Terminal at, And Lynx Air is out of Terminal C. And uh, the reason why that is important is because we parked uh, at the wrong economy lot and are now having to walk through Terminal B. We'll take the monorail over to Terminal C and go through security there. So let's go. Y'all know I love a good monorail ride. And a good thing to know if you're ever flying out of the M2 airport, if you miss your uh, Disney, get some stuff there. They have the Sea World store over there. And then around this corner, they have the uh, Universal Hollywood Studios store there too. So this is such a new airline that even when we got picked up by the shuttle <laughs> bus driver there in the economy lot, we told him we were flying Lynx Air. He had no clue what it was. Yeah. Never heard of it. Wasn't on any of the paperwork. Right. He thought maybe we were at the wrong airport, so. Yeah. It made me panic for a second. I thought, oh gosh, should right. I actually book the wrong place? Because apparently, yeah, there's Stamford Airport. is another. Stamford, yeah. Stamford, yeah. Stanford, yeah. Another yeah. smaller airport in yeah. the area. Ah, so stressful. <laughs> stay, stay steadfast. It's definitely yeah. at this airport. It's definitely MCF. Terminal C. Terminal C. All right, guys. Here we go. It's important to note, too, if you make the same mistake that we did and parked at the wrong terminal, that if you are going over to C, you do not go through security in the in terminals A or B. You have to first take the monorail over to terminal C, and that's where you go through TSA. Yep. And the exciting thing is, Bright Line is coming. So our goal is to have to uh, be the summer to the Bright Line. Yeah, as soon as that opens up to Miami, we're definitely going to take a quick little weekend getaway and give you a full review of that too. Yeah. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Smash the button! So, judging on how much trouble we've had finding this place and how little information... The terminal link is now arriving. <laughs> how, how little information we can find about it. The terminal link is now arriving. Yeah, bro, thanks. We, we're aware. This is going to be interesting. I don't know what kind of plane this is going to be or anything. I'm wondering if it's going to be like a repurposed UPS plane with the duct tape sticker on it that says Lynx Air or maybe we're right in the cargo bin. Who knows? It's I'm definitely just, gonna I'm be just an experience. I'm like an Amazon Prime sticker to be slapped on my forehead. I know the tickets were fairly cheap. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll play you guys at home check paper and I'll put up the it. The next stop is Terminal C, parking seat. Oh, seat make sure you hold on, it takes off pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Close for Orlando Mayor, buddy. So I booked this area for back in November. Um, we paid for it round trip, taxes and fees, everything, for two people, 264 14 so not too bad. Considering about $130 yeah, round a piece. trip to be yeah. to international to Canada. No, yeah. no, not bad at all. Um, now the kicker is to pack and pay for this bag. Round trip for this one bag was $140. So. And that only weighs 50 pounds. I know. We could have had a whole person. All right, we could have, man. We could have. But because it is a low cost carrier, you know, they, it's very similar to like Spirit or Frontier. If you want to bring on an extra carry-on, there's a fee associated with that. So it was the same though to check a bag or to carry on uh, a bag. So it was just seventy dollars. Right. And you only get like 25, like, yeah, 30 pounds with yeah, a exactly. check with a carry-on. And I packed too much stuff to begin with. So yeah. Even though we're only going for like three days. This, 60% of this is mine. This is a necessity for her. It is. Actually, almost all of it is yours because my stuff is in my backpack. Really? Everything in here is mine. You have all your yeah. clothes in yours. Everything except for a sweater. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Please 
Please stand clear of doors and hold on to handrails. When the terminal link stops, please exit to terminal C, parking C. All right, so we think we're heading the right way. We're currently walking through a parking lot. So this is quite an adventure. The, the driver did kind of warn us that it, it's a little bit of a journey. Yeah. Uh, and the sign said it was going to be about a 20 minute commute between terminals. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. I thought maybe we'd just take the, take the train because it was, you know, the same way from A to end up in, in C, but apparently not. So they do have like some indicators here. You just follow the line, right? Follow the so, yellow brick road. <laughs> Gotta get a Terminal C, you just follow the blue line. The blue oh, line doesn't yeah. to go. Terminal C. Yeah. If you guys know anything about me, you guys know I always overpack, overstuff my bag. So we'll link down below when Lewis almost divorced me when we were in Thailand because I accidentally cost us another like $200 hmm. in uh, overpack fees. Sorry. Y'all find yourself a husband that will drag your bag to the airport. I love him. But unlike whenever we were in Thailand, we did not prepay for our bags in Thailand. Uh, this time I did, so hopefully it's a little bit more affordable. It was like, I don't know. I think it was more expensive if you waited to get to the airport. So, you know, pretty pro tip here. Make sure you uh, <coughs> pay for your bag before you get to the airport. We'll be able to see this. This is saying level two check-in for uh, Lynx Air. It's this way. Racing escalators. <laughs> Someone's winning. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so Lewis says on the other side of JetBlue is where we're supposed to check in for Lynx. I see it. You sees it? I sees it. I smells it. How do you it. see it? <laughs> There's a sign over there. Open your oh, eyes. Oh, Look with your okay. special eyes. So unfortunately, we cannot do the self check in here. We have to have a look because we stand in line. So that's why. And as expected with these low cost carriers, there is a crazy long line, even though we're here three hours early. Mm -hmm. And there is one, two people up there working. Mm -hmm. So this is going to take a while. Mm -hmm. So that's why you definitely need to make sure you give your extra time. Mm -hmm. um, you get what you pay for. Yeah. Uh, so I was actually on work travel this week and I flew to Texas. Literally, my flight was at like 6.45. I showed up to the Tampa airport at like, you know, five after five, dropped my bag off with Delta, went right through security and boom. So when they say you're arrive three hours early, if, there's, if the company is, if the carrier is telling you to arrive three hours early, there's a reason why. So, especially for those international flights. 2,000 years later. All right, so we got all checked in there, dropped our bag off. That was about a 25, 30 minute wait. They did eventually open up. They had four registers running. Mm -hmm. So the line came down considerably from the time we, that we got on. The yeah, now. now it's almost empty. About, yeah. a, about a third probably what it was. So mm -hmm. not too bad. Yeah. Uh, now we're on to security. Yep, let's go. So 45 minutes later, we are through security. That was a long one. And now we're off to gate 241. PSA, make sure everything is out of your pockets. Like <laughs> everything. And get here on time and don't ditch the line. Yeah, so we got here on time and everything was out of our pockets. Just saying. All right. The lens cap's on. You can't catch it. No. Bye-bye. Oh, you guys, we just missed it. Lewis was singing and dancing at Britney Spears. Look at him. This is what happens when I'm a responsible camera person for the lens cap back on things. I miss the good stuff. All right, so here is a look at our plane. Good to know that it's not a UPS plane not a cargo plane. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I haven't had time to, to look it up, but it, so based on those engines, I'm gonna guess that's some sort of 737, maybe like a, maybe a Max 8. Uh, those engines are pretty big. It's distinctive the way that they are flat bottom. And I believe that that's indicative of a 737 Max 8. All right, so in, cr in true Christine fashion, uh, running to the gate because I had to get some snacks. But there's two really cool things I saw here at the uh, terminal that I wanna show you. First is this one where you can actually move around here in the center, and then you get to see all the cool things in. It's pretty neat. The second one is at the Sea, uh, the sea, food, <laughs> the sea World store where they have uh, fish. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm running back to the gate because Lewis is gonna kill me if I'm late for the flight. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> so this is interesting. I don't know if you can see all the uh, alarms across the entire thing are going off here. There's an announcement saying that there's some sort of major security issue or something with the airport and like everybody should remain calm, stay where they are, not to use elevators or escalators. And I uh, heard one of the support, one of the maintenance techs over there saying that the entire airport apparently is on lockdown. Um, but yeah, we're still boarding our plane. We're still boarding the plane, so hopefully we can get out of here. I just want to be on the tarmac. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. 
much. Well, first off, let's just hope that everybody's safe. Yeah, everybody's okay. Yeah, everybody's safe and healthy. Yeah. I hope right. everything's okay. And by the way, I did look it up. I am starting to learn my airplanes again. That is a 737 MAX 8, so I was correct. Points for me. Are those the ones that are always crashing? Yes. Those are the ones that crashed. Okay. Good times. 777 Emirates parked right next to us, so. Oh, that would be like a dream to fly on that uh, airplane. Big boy. Nah, that's, uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm big, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the 777. It's a really long, thin, that's, well, not that uh, it's wide the, body, but it's really long. That's the double decker one? No, it's not. Oh, the 880's double decker I'd, Yeah, the 747 was the Boeing double decker. Oh. Uh, and then the Airbus A380, I'd like to fly on. Mm -hmm. We've only flown on one 787 though. That one, uh, that was a lot of fun, and I'd that like to do that again. We were in here at Brant. Yeah, that was uh, London to Paris business class mm -hmm. before we started our YouTube channel. You're really close. Extreme close up. I know. <laughs> all right. So we just got seated here, and yeah. you can see how much leg space we have. If I sit all the way back, I, I got have. maybe an inch. You've got plenty I, of room. I can play football right here. Yeah. Put football on there. <laughs> uh, if I'm sitting comfortably, I'm, I'm digging into the seat, so yeah. not a whole lot of space. The seats are definitely very thin, mm -hmm. um, but it's a new plane, so yeah. hopefully it just doesn't fall out of the sky. Yeah. Here we are with the uh, we got the seat back, tray table. The tray table, we got, I'm a bigger guy, but I got a little bit of room here. Um, fairly basic, nothing really to write home about there, but it is new, so it all class. Easy. Are you ready to go to Canada? Let's go to Canada. Hopefully they let us in this time. They, okay, for the record, <laughs> I've always been let in Canada, thank you. I'm a nice person, and they love me. Yeah, honestly, I'm a little bit more worried about myself. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> All right, so first impressions, though, of this airplane and the Lynx in general, I, I think the, the plane is, is very clean. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't see any dirt or anything. I don't know if that's just because it's new or they just have a really good clean maintenance routine, but it looks clean. Yeah. Happy about that. Well, like what I noticed that was behind my head is there's like a little Velcro in here. I'm worried my hair is going to get caught. It's like the crunchy part of the Velcro. Yeah, like there's supposed to be, yeah, like, yeah. It's supposed to be a headrest or um, like a towel or something, something attached that's yeah. not there. Yeah. Okay. So we're sitting here ready to, to for the boarding, waiting for the boarding door to close. Two minutes late. No, we're two minutes late. Um, but it does seem interesting too that there seems to be a lot of confusion amongst the crew over how many passengers are on board. They've already asked for a couple of people to raise their hands and now they're going through double counting. Like It almost seems like maybe not everybody got scanned coming through, which is a little strange. I'm saying maybe the reason why the um, first word like counting people is because this, the, the security didn't happen earlier. And uh, there's a little bit of a better shot of a... Uh, the flight there, the uh, Emirates Air. Uh, oh, much better shot. I know, it's what I'm saying. So, yeah, there's a better shot of the Emirates. 777. Plane. 777. Uh, so, now the manifesto doesn't match with how many people are on board today. We have everybody that we should have on board, but the paperwork is saying that we should have one extra person. So, they're having to call back to their head office, and it just seems like it's a mess, and the whole thing's delaying us. Mm -hmm. Not ideal. Also, did find out that this is kind of, it does sound like this is sort of a more Canadian based airline. It is, it is. Yeah, and I like when did say that the major stakeholder in this airline, in this area, is the same as Ryanair, it's uh, Indigo Airlines, which runs. Indigo Air Group, I think, is Indigo. the, yeah. Yeah, so they have a major stake in both Ryanair and Lynx. But yeah, at this point, we're still waiting to get off the ground. It's kind of annoying. We have uh, a car scheduled to pick us up on the other side. If we don't get there on time, we have to pay a so we're really hoping we can get these this closed get off the, get off the ground. A few inches later. I, I swear you cannot make this up. You cannot make this up. So now we're like 35 minutes late. Not only did they have all these issues with paperwork, apparently they need to dump out the toilets. Laboratories, yeah. yeah. And they're waiting for a truck to come to clean out the mm -hmm. clean out the black water. I didn't even know this was possible. Apparently the cleaning truck was on its way here and got no, pulled no, no, over. No, 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 no. The, the guy who services the truck was on his way here. Yeah. Like, like, like externally from the airport. I don't know. They, they, I think they, so. They said he got pulled over and got a speeding ticket trying to get here quick. Right. I don't know. I don't think He's there's... right there. <laughs> oh, maybe. I don't, I don't know if yeah. he got pulled over on a regular road or... <laughs> He's running. That guy right there. Is that truck right there? <laughs> yeah, right there. He's coming up, he's coming up the stairs. Oh, that's hilarious. 
Yeah, so uh, I guess he was on his way here and he got, got pulled over and got a speeding ticket. I don't know if that's out, outside the airport or if there's like a cop in here somewhere pulling people over. Can you imagine? Uh, but again, just like what kind of... It just doesn't, doesn't seem like everything's together with yeah. this airline. Yeah. Plus. <laughs> but I, I think this is the only flight that they're operating out here, which again, why, is, yeah. why nobody seems to know anything right. about this airline. But it is a full flight though. Yeah. It's, there's there's not a thing right, in but, here. Yeah, I mean, We've been following one guy around all day. That basically Cabin crew, arm doors and cross check. Basically did all the, you know, checked us in, did the, loaded the bags and like all this right. stuff. Like, they just don't have the personnel. It could be delays. Hello, we are going to depart now. So if everyone can just take their seat and buckle in oh, for no. the safety demo, thank you. Of so the go. cabin crew. Finally. Should a power loss or emergency occur, floor lighting will come on and all exits will and be the, indicated uh, by the emergency exit sign. The wagon didn't even hook up. Oh, there are yeah. eight emergency Unless they hooked up on the other side or something, we didn't see. Four window exits yeah. located. You do at least have to admire their honesty because I don't know how many other airlines would be like make an announcement for the whole plane and say, yeah, our, our dude got a speeding ticket. <laughs> I mean, usually with Delta, you're lucky if you can get any kind of information on why we're delayed or how long we're delayed. Right, and it's always the same thing. Oh, we're just finishing up paperwork. Oh, okay, right, okay, yeah. okay. It's always a maintenance problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's technically, the poop captain would be a maintenance problem, right? Yeah. Literally. Apparently, the fart wagon gave it a little too much gas. All right, we are done here. <laughs> we are done here, my love. What do we think? All right, so it was effective air travel. Mm -hmm. It was a seat 30,000 30, feet up in the air traveling at 500 miles an hour. Yeah. Price was right. It's basic. Yeah. You know, there's, no, there's no charging plugs. There's no in-seat entertainment. There's no meal service, no drinks. They serve us water. Yeah. It is better than Spirit in that regard, though, because at least they don't wake people up halfway through to try to sell you a credit card, so. Right, and I felt like the seats were clawing at some point. There was a button, we didn't try it. You know, it wasn't a long enough flight to try yeah. to inconvenience the people behind us. Right. Uh, seat, seat pitch was really small. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing around the 30 inch range. Yeah. I'm six foot two and my knees were digging into the seat in front of me the entire flight. Right. But that's pretty common for me. Yeah, you tall boy. How about that? Yeah, at least it was clean. Yeah. We never made it to the restroom, but. No. We were locked in. All right, babe, so we're through customs. We're gonna go grab our bag yep. and make sure our bag made it. Yeah. That's that, right? But yeah, actually, all, honestly, uh, customs was pretty smooth. They do a, like a self-service checkout thing. It takes mm -hmm. your photo, they ask you a couple questions, and we were through there five minutes. It was no big deal. Yeah. I feel like I've had a hard time getting back to customs in the US. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've had a hard time before getting into Canada as well, but this time it was pretty easy. Yeah. All right guys, so we're all safe here in Canada. Uh, we are going to grab our bag. And by our bag, I mean my bag because apparently Lewis didn't put anything in it. Uh, but yeah, then we're gonna hop in Uber and head oh. over to oh. Niagara. So yeah, make sure you're hanging out with us. Uh, it's gonna be a fun, fun little trip. So hopefully you guys uh, like the series. But yeah, here's uh, this guy with pro tips. All right guys, so here are your pro tips for flying Lynx Air. I'd say number one is be sure to arrive early because the check-in process takes forever and you definitely need that full three hours when traveling international. If you, Especially if you're gonna check a bag. I think even if you're not checking a bag, I think they've still forced everybody to wait that long line. Mm -hmm. So definitely give that self, yourself that a full three hours to make sure you have plenty of time to make your flight. Pro tip number two is on flight, um, amenities are really basic. There are no charge ports. There's no in-flight entertainment, so definitely Download something on Netflix if you can. There's no food on board, so you have to buy something at your departing airport if you want to have a snack or eat a meal while you're on the flight. However, though, there was water service. They did come around and give you a free cup of water about that big, so no ice. Pro tip number three is if you are traveling with a bag, be sure to purchase your bags in advance because they are more affordable if you purchase them in advance. Affordability is questionable. <laughs> they are very expensive, but they're less expensive if you purchase them 
in advance. So save yourself some time, pack a couple days in advance, know how much all your bags are gonna weigh, and you know, buy those uh, baggage allocations online before you uh, show up to the airport. So that's gonna do it for us today. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, let us know in the comments below. Have you ever flown Lynx Air or what is your favorite Canadian airline? We'd love to hear about it. Tell us about it in the comments below. Remember to hit that subscribe button. And with that being said, we're out here and we'll see you next weekend. Oh, the lens is on. I'm like, why is it black? <laughs> Yeah, okay, so what happens whenever we use yeah. the things we're supposed to use. So, me, oh, this is the horrible idea. All right. Or what is your favorite Canadian uh, air carrier airline? All right. So, There's a big old Emirates oh, flight man, over there. Man, I missed it. Yeah, wow. it's just, it's just. Well, we haven't missed it. You can go back there and go That's take a look right. at it. That's all right. Looking gorgeous, babe. Okay. I like flying through clowns. Like giant fluffy cotton balls. Are you are you gonna eat my last two flips? <laughs> You're eating them. <laughs> All right, honey, so what do you think? Oh, hang on a second. What? You're gonna force me to drop a couple of pretzels, bro. I know. Just based on those engines, I'm gonna guess that's some sort of... It is a fairly new air... Airline. Airline. Maybe they have... All you're getting is boobies now. Give me this. It is a fairly new airline here at Orlando Airport. Uh, prices are super cheap, and we're gonna ride it from here to Niagara Falls and give you a... To Toronto? No. I always love a good travel day.